Glenn, what are you doing in here again? Oh, I'm trying to learn more. I'll learn. tell you what, time you get done with all this, you're gonna, we're going to have to put you in here full time. <laughs> yeah. So you like measuring, do you? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. All right, well, this is pretty exciting. We're going to do a series of five videos coming up, and you folks out there are really going to want to watch these because we are focusing on not just measurement, but precision measurement, how we do it, how others do it, how it began, where it came from, and so forth. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And Glenn, you'll like it. I'm sure you're going to... I'll learn. Okay. Yeah, you're going to learn from it. So the first thing I wanted to mention was when we measure, there's lots of ways to measure, right? Tons. What about a yardstick, a the ruler? A yardstick, ruler. I mean, going back inches, to fundamentals. Yeah. Then you can all, go all the way up to the micro measurements that, that um, are almost in the... Ozone somewhere, well, you, you know. Need a magnifying glass or something. No, way beyond that, way beyond wow. that. I mean, it's okay. almost scientific. That's really what I'm looking for. Okay. So that kind of measurement is even beyond us. We don't go that deep. We, I mean, we're dealing in tents and in some cases millions, but uh, when you get into the lab side of it, that's a totally different story. Mm -hmm. And, but I want to start with the fundamentals first. Okay. And I want to talk about what kind of measurement we're, we're going to start from the very beginning okay and what it is that we need to explain to the folks about measuring if you step aside here i just want to show something we refer to this as mechanics as a scale you want to step on it we'll see how much you weigh <laughs> wrong kind of scale so this is a a good instrument to use for certain kinds of measurement i.e if you're on a saw Right. And you want to cut something that was uh, four inches, plus or minus an eighth of an inch, you could certainly use this. Sure. And, and you can get closer with it than this. But if you're on a saw, you're probably not going to use a micrometer, more okay. than likely not, because that's a little too close for what you're needing. You might use a, a dial caliper. Okay. But certainly you could start with a ruler, and you can move your way up the ladder. Now, what happens when you get closer? That's when you might want to use a dial caliper, or you might want to use a micrometer, or you might want to go beyond that and use something else, like our instruments oh, here uh, with gauge box. Yeah, that's really getting up there. There you go. So there's a lot of different things that, that we're going to talk about going into the future. But let me give you an idea about how close we are and, and, and give you a comparison. Sure. For example, a mile is 5,280 feet, right? Yep. Times 12, I think is some 60 some thousand. I have my cheat sheet over there. Anyway, if you divide that or multiply that times 12, you get the number of inches in a mile, right? Okay. And if you, there you go. Thank you, Glenn. So 5,280 is 63,350 inches. Oh, wow. If you divide that by 1,000, that would give you 63 inches, okay. roughly. Roughly. Why am I saying that? Because if you take an inch and you divide an inch into 1,000 parts, you would have 1,000 per inch. Here we've got one inch per mile. Okay. Or inches. So we've got inches. 63 inches per mile is the same as 1,000 is to an inch. Okay. Is that kind of, you look a little puzzled. Do you? Well, I'm just wondering if i got to remember this on the, on the test. <laughs> there, there, there will be a written later. Now, if you take that, those inches again, they take that 63 inches and divide that by 10, you're going to get 6.3 inches. Okay. Why do I say that? Because one-tenth of one-thousandth is the same. We're taking a thousand, we're, divide, we're taking an inch divided by a thousand, we're going to take that 1,000th, which, by the way, is the thickness of a zigzag paper. No. So 1,000 pieces of zigzag will give us an inch. So let's peel off one paper. You know how thin that is, right? Oh, yeah. Let's divide that paper by 10. Oh, wow. So now we're doing the same thing with this mile. We're taking a mile, multiplying time inches, take the 63 inches, and divide that by 10. You'd get 6 inches. So can you imagine measuring one full mile within six inches. We think about, look down a road, mm -hmm. look at a mile, and say you're gonna measure that within 
six inches. Six inches. That's pretty close. It's real close. So that's the part that we're going to explore later on. So we've got a whole series of videos coming up, about five of them, dealing with measurement. You folks are going to love it. Uh, we're looking forward to your comments and questions. And uh, I know that if you subscribe to this, believe me, you're going to get a big education about measurement. And not just measurement, but cloaks measurement, because that's kind of where we are. We're on the upper end of precision measuring. So thank you for watching. Keep your eye on it. Watch us on Facebook, etc. Good to see you. We'll see you next time around. Thanks.